This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. Here we are. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? The mine place. My version of the mine palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mine place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. Everything we know about the previous murders. Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. Now this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. And we didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, Deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the M.O. of the previous murders? Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale. So you knew our victim? Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I... Ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. Partner got killed in the field. He went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Flick the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. Deputy. I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. 
Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. In person cases, spike. Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. So what did you see in the woods? We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> Like we'd even dream of missing dear. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. That's so weird. You don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. We're blocking out your traumatic memories. <sighs> Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so.